Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you feel lost or stuck in life? It's normal to feel uncertain sometimes, like you've run into a wall and have no idea where to go next. Perhaps you're feeling tired of the everyday hustle. Maybe you're faced with a huge life-changing decision, or you could just be experiencing some good old burnout. Feeling stuck often comes with feelings of dissatisfaction with where you're at in life, demotivation, discomfort, and doubtfulness. These complex and often confusing emotions can take away the enthusiasm of waking up to a new day every morning and make you feel like you've lost your purpose or direction in life. So if you've been feeling stuck lately, know that you are not alone in feeling this way and that there may be some things you can try to help you move forward again. Number one, be proactive instead of passive. It can be easy to feel stuck when you're passively watching your life go by instead of actively doing your best to take control of it. Although it may feel easier to sit with this uncertainty, doing so is not quite the solution to overcome it. Escaping this trapped feeling can only come if you put in the necessary efforts to improve the necessary areas in your life. When you feel stuck, put yourself in the driver's seat where you truly belong. Ultimately, the first step to overcoming feeling stuck in life is to have the willpower to establish sustainable changes and goals, which can give you the motivation to get that engine started again. Number two. Let go of your inner fears and limitations. Have your fears stopped you from pursuing what you really want? Whether it's a fear of failure, never ending chase for perfection, or a need to be validated by others to feel worthy. These fears and limitations can be overwhelming and get in the way of your plans and goals. This is why it's important that you identify and confront these setbacks so you can come to understand where they come from and how you can get over them. Letting go of your inner fears and limitations, no matter how big or how small they may be, can help greatly empower you to be able to reach for your true desires in life. Number three, stay true to yourself. Are you living your life for others instead of yourself? This can especially happen if you're taking on too many responsibilities. Perhaps you're taking up a job for the title instead of the experience studying something your family wanted you to do or being dragged to events or activities you have no personal interest in. If you find yourself feeling trapped, doing things that feel uninteresting and more like a waste of time, it may be time for you to prioritize what is most important to you. This may mean reflecting on your values, your goals, and your desires, and determining the areas in your life that are not necessarily helping you stay true to them. Number four, change things up a bit. Are you tired of waking up to the same old schedule every day? Clinical psychologist and author, Lisa Firestone, states in her article with Psychology Today that this is because when we fall into a routine, we're often choosing a pattern of behavior that feels self-proactive and familiar. To protect ourselves from anxiety and pain, we subconsciously designed a set of structured behaviors to help us navigate the world. So introducing new activities or reinventing your regular schedule can serve a great deal in reviving and refreshing your mindset. The little changes you make to your routine can add up to a big difference over time. This could be as simple as putting your phone away to enjoy some quality time with your family, taking a different route on your way to work, or waking up five minutes earlier to practice some mindful meditation in the morning. And number five, create an action plan. Last, but most importantly, Create a solid action plan. When you feel like you're running into a wall in one aspect of your life, you have other aspects or areas in your life which you do have control of, at least to some extent. Give yourself something to look forward to by creating a personalized goal system that can accommodate your needs and desires so you can continue to grow and develop in a positive way. And when you set your goals, you could try following the SMART goal setting so that your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. This gives you a much higher chance in successfully accomplishing them. And allowing yourself time to find your natural flow again is important. Life has its many unpredictable ups and downs, but you can still continue to do your part in trying to stay a couple of steps ahead of the game with some strong goal setting skills. Did you find these tips helpful? Let us know which tips you'll implement in the comments below. If you are feeling stuck, you are certainly not alone. Everyone goes through this phase of uncertainty and confusion at some point in their life. Just remember that change does not happen overnight, but over time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video.
The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.